If you've had a severe ankle sprain, you've heard the cracks and pops associated with a really significant sprain, and you suspect a fracture, you want to get that x-ray straight away. When you're immersed in the water, you're just going to lunge forward gently and then slowly come back. The big issue with ankle sprains is that they tend to recur if they're not managed appropriately in the first place. So we need to restore your strength, your range and your control. Hi, it's Ryan Florence Rennes here from My Physio SA. Today we're going to talk about a lateral ankle sprain. If you've done a lateral ankle sprain, how do you know how severe it is and what you should do about it next? A lateral ankle sprain is one of the more common injuries that occur in the change of direction sports. It might occur when you push off to change direction sharply or potentially even when you land on someone else's foot. They can be associated with a crack or a pop when the ligaments on the outside of the joint are stretched when the ankle rolls inwards. You might feel pain all through the ankle but most of the pain is focused on the outside and swelling will often occur reasonably quickly after an ankle sprain on that lateral side. It can often be really difficult to grade how severe your ankle sprain is but here's a few tips for you just to think about in the future. If you hear a big pop and you're unable to weight bear at the time and you see that the swelling blows up really quickly around the ankle joint you want to get that x-ray straight away. You want to rule out a fracture before anything else and you don't want to be taking your chances on a broken, on a broken leg. If you can weight bear and you can continue hobbling around for a period of time, some people can actually get on and keep playing for the rest of the game. What you might find is the next day you tend to get more swelling and it's painful to weight bear that next morning. The next morning you might find that your ankle is swollen and you're struggling to walk around the house. Downstairs tends to be a really difficult thing if you've got a really swollen or sore ankle. These are the ones that you want to give the physio a call on the Monday just to make sure that you can actually get back to training and do the things that you want to do as soon as you can. So following an ankle sprain, range of motion is really important. So we tend to lose the range of motion really early and one of the big reasons for that is because of the accumulation of swelling right in and around the joint, restricting the range as we come into that dorsiflexion position. A really good exercise to do to help to increase that range and also to help get some of that fluid clearance is to use a bucket or an esky, put, your, put enough water in the bucket so it immerses right up to the ankle, over the ankle, sorry, and put some ice in there, not so much ice that you would do for your beers to get cold, but enough to be able to sustain in the water for about five minutes at a time. So once you're in this position, you want to get into a lunge position, as David is here, and the idea is when you're immersed in the water, you're just going to lunge forward gently and then slowly come back. So it's a range of motion exercise. The, water, the cold water will help to give an anaesthetic effect, so take some of the pain out of the equation, but also helps with some of that clearance of the inflammation. If you've had a severe ankle sprain, you've heard the cracks and pops associated with a really significant sprain, and you suspect a fracture, you want to get that x-ray straight away. If you can wait until Monday after your swelling's increased and you feel that you're getting a bit stiff, come in and see us at My Physio SA and our physios will expertly assess your injury and make sure that you're getting back on track as soon as we can. The big issue with ankle sprains is that they tend to recur if they're not managed appropriately in the first place. So we need to restore your strength, your range and your control to ensure that this doesn't happen again.